You're back in the shop with me tonight, guys. And this week on the channel, I want to answer that burning question. Should you buy a CNC machine? So stick around. I'm Stoner Erickson from Erickson Design Company, and let's build something. Ta-da! In this video, I want to go over the four main things that I was looking for when I was thinking about getting a CNC. The cost, the space I needed to have it, the actual experience I needed to run it, which I had none, and then the cost of benefit to owning it. So let me start by saying I'm a woodworker. I'm not a CNC guy. And the thought of having a CNC was so cool, and it was between this and a 3D printer. But clearly you can see that I went with the Inventables X-Carve 1000 mil CNC machine. And I'm not sponsored by X-Carve by any means. They don't sponsor any of this. I did a ton of research. I found with Inventables, I had an easy access to their software, which is called Easel, where I could, even before buying it, go into Easel and kind of see how to use it, which was really, really cool. And there's quite a bit of support, quite a bit of forms. And so not having any experience in this kind of woodworking or designing aspect, that was the one that worked well for me. And I absolutely love it. So let's talk the cost. You know, you can easily hop on to Inventables website. You can see here the free trial for Easel. And I like this X-Car versus the X-Car Pro. The X-Car Pro is like $9,900. So you just hop over, you know, it's so simple. You pick the one you want, do a ton of research on it. And the cool thing is, is it kind of shows you a fully loaded kit or you can build your own. I did a build your own. You pick your outlet configuration and then it shows you everything that's included. The Z probe. Now this one actually comes with the higher Z axis than mine, but mine was about $22.99 around the holidays. And this one's about $2,500. But for $25, $2,600, $2, you're out the door. You're ready to go. Downfalls to it so far is I've actually replaced this spindle once. The one they sent me I burned out because I really want to test the limits of these machines and work them as hard as I can to see how hard they can go. And eventually it burned out the router. Some of the videos that I make are stuff that I was looking for when I was researching sanders or table saws or joiners or CNC machines. So why I'm making this is because I was looking for a video like this someone to say, hey, here's the things that I like and here's the things I don't like, so. Now, space is at a premium in my shop. So even before I got my X-Carve, I ended up building this foldable flip-up table and it really saves a lot of space. Uh, once it's folded down, it sits against the wall. This table has dust collection, it has a place for my laptop. And once it's folded down, it only takes up 60 inches by about 24 inches out. And it really is a game changer in my shop. I absolutely love this thing. But most important, it saves space. Clearly the position that you're in or the place that you're in in your shop, I have a two car garage wood shop here and I needed to find a way to make this giant tool a little bit more small. <laughs> so coming up with the foldable table or the collapsible table, it gives me way more room for activities and workspace. And it's something that I don't think I would have bought one had I not had an idea for this and I saw the idea for this on YouTube. I only improved on it in my way. You can see how I built this, the whole process of building it on my YouTube channel. It'll be in the link in the description below. Let's talk about experience. Again, I had none. I didn't know the difference between CAD or CAM, which I had to figure out. Uh, CAD is computer aided design and CAM is computer aided manufacturing. So I went on YouTube as always and I researched where I should go and I found SketchUp. Now I used April Wilkinson's little tutorial. It's about 20, 22 minutes long. And I really love April Wilkinson. If you watch this April, I freaking love you. You're a local Texan. I think you're a couple hours from me, which is awesome. I want to come to the woodshed. I will be there. Um, but I watched her SketchUp tutorial and I was able to design in SketchUp after watching that a few times and practicing. After I had kind of not mastered SketchUp, but could get around it and use some shortcut keys, I went and started working on Fusion 360 and doing some tutorials on that. I'd get up at 5.45 in the morning, spend my first hour a day doing a class on YouTube to learn Fusion 360. I got the free version. Fusion 360 was way above my pay grade at that time. But with both SketchUp and Fusion 360, I had to take my design, turn it into a G-code, then make my CAM, which was my manufacturing tool path, and it just seemed like all this extra work 
So that's when I started researching CNC's and I found this little Laguna I liked, but it was like 15 grand. And then I found a couple other, the Shaco, I can never say that right, but I found that one. And then I found the X-Carve and then I found their software that was integrated into the system and has thousands and thousands and thousands of designs and tool paths and everything already in there so I could just start designing. And that's what I did before I bought anything. I went into easel and I designed some stuff I thought would be cool. Some signs, you know, different kinds of plaques and, and cutting boards and stuff like that. So I was, I was able to actually design before I even bought the machine, which that for me was a real winner. And one of the reasons that I bought it because it gave me some pre experience to say, Hey, I can do this. So I want to always be a lifetime learner. I want to be always learning something new every day, having never used a CNC or anything in that realm since owning it. I've carved plexiglass, hardwoods, plywoods, uh, aluminum. I've done flat pack furniture, uh, stand up desks, all kinds of really cool projects, anything that's in my head. And you know, our channel model is idea, design and build. And this CNC and the CNC world is that to a T like you have an idea, you design it, then you build it. And that's what this channel is all about. So let's talk about the cost benefits to owning it. So mine out of the gate was right around 22, $2,300. This is a couple years ago. You know, I've replaced the, the router. I've bought a ton of bits, broken a ton of the little 30 second bits, a couple hundred dollars, three or $400 in bits, but I have made tens of thousands of dollars with it. Now that's the truth. I have done all kinds of plaques and signage, uh, closing gifts for my wife, real estate company, uh, charcuterie boards, cutting boards, big golf signs. I have 30, 40 videos on my channel. You can see all the cool stuff that I've done and I've designed. Maybe it'll give you an idea, but the cost benefit to own it, I probably paid for 10 of those. That's not that that's realistic. 10 X carbs I probably made off of my X carb. So for me, it's a no brainer. I did have a trial and error. I did have a big learning arc, but ultimately I was able to know that I learn by failing. Failure is success to me because then if I keep trying, I'll ultimately succeed. So to answer my question, should you buy a CNC machine? The answer is yes. Thanks for watching guys. I'm Stoner Erickson from Erickson Design Company and we built something. Ta -da! No experience, zero to hero. So I want to be, and then there, you're back in the shop with, so to answer my question, next comes the cam. Then from there, you, so let's talk about, so let's, and so for how cam is, let me say first off, zero, 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 zero to hero. Whole nother level and the next tool path. Sorry. You're fine. Different extensions you had to do with uh, easel on that. And it was so easy for me. Even buying a CD or CD.